you want to do or not. Well, I should be impressed picture. here. Yeah, really. yeah. Well, I must take a Turn the camera on and you can cry and get your nose set. Tired baby boy. You need to hear. No, I was just like, that's a lot of work for getting born. I said to her, when he, when he first came out, I said, oh, he's a keeper. No. <laughs> like we just going to push him back in? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Not after all that. Uh, you want food? You want food? <laughs> I'm showing the excited father. I'm excited. Oh, okay. You look like you have so much enthusiasm. You know. I do. <laughs> that I hold it. <laughs> oh, you look cuter without that hat on. Sure. I think the hat adds style. <laughs> But his head's okay, Christine's not cone shaped. Well, that's probably my cubic bone right there in his eye. He was plenty warm, so he doesn't have to keep that hat on. Is he early? Is he early? I don't know. How did he come out at? I, I really don't know. Did, did he have a lot of burn anxiety when he was born? Or did you see I didn't really see, but he looks a little fuzzy, hairy fuzzy. I thought it crossed his shoulder. This hair is actually not as black as the girls. Mm -hmm. It'll make no difference anyway. Well, they turn blonde. Like I said, if you need anything, let us know. All right. I can have some ice chips yeah. here. You sure can. I know why he got quiet because she wrapped him up like that. Yeah. He thinks he's back inside, right? Yeah. That's why they do that. I know. I think that was my pubic bone. I guess am I supposed to get you in the picture too, right? Uh, not necessarily. Well, I don't really need me in the picture puking. I don't exactly look oh. my best. Oh, <laughs> you weren't in it actually. Rick was covering you. I don't exactly look my best right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Most of us don't at 2 o'clock in the morning. You want to take some pictures? Mm -hmm. What do you think of him? Does he look like what you thought, Andrea? Yeah, freckles today. What do you think? What you think of him? Oh, your IV. Look at his little fingers. Getting her camera. You gonna take a picture of the baby too? Oh, good job, Jackie. You gonna see too? Huh? Yeah. Good job. Jackie. Did you get mom in this? Huh? Did you get mom in there? Stand back this far. Now you have to wind it. Whose baby is this? Good job, Mom. That's good. Here, Andrew. Can I 
help you? All right, you stand up this high. Oops, I don't think that's going to work, right, Andrea. Here, we got to turn around. We got to go this way. She's going to take a picture. She was going to take a picture of her face. Did I get it? Good job. All right. One more. Good job. Yeah, now we better save it for the next time, okay? My well, baby's getting a bath or something. Oh, Andrea. Jackie or Rick. Andrea. Andrea. Rick, she's got those people. Andrea. 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 He burped for you. What a good job, big sister. You got him to burp. Mommy, I got him to burp. You did. That's what big I'm sisters sure are good know. at. <laughs> I didn't realize you had the freckles on your nose already this year. Where did oh, you get yes. them? They just grow. <laughs> One semi jack knife. I think he's camera shy. He was putting his hands up. And Doris makes a really good picture, don't get me wrong. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not the star of the show. No. No. I think he's tired. That's Adam. He's on it. Yeah. They're really some of your first visitors. Oh, really? Today they pretty much uh, kept everybody out. Did you get a hold of everything? Here, here. 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 Here.
Yeah, I think those are like suckers, aren't they? You suck on them? Yep. It's called a pacifier. It's so hard to peel in your mouth. Mm hmm. For very long, though. No, Why don't you go, go over and see baby Adam because we don't hardly have any pictures of him. Uh huh, you eat him. You wear it like a ring and eat it. It's a diamond ring. Jackie, can you sit back just a minute? I'm going to be in the kitchen. Kind of cute, isn't he, Andrea? Don't touch his eye. Oh, that's the toilet one. I thought you had his. Turn it around so we can see what you got him, Jack. And it glows. It doesn't look like it has any batteries in it. Well, it needs batteries. We'll have to get him some batteries, won't we? I bet baby Adam will like that. Did you help Daddy pick that up? Uh huh. Did you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me take some pictures of him. Has he got feet, Jack? reading the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus came forward and addressed the eleven disciples in these words. Full authority has been given to me both in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Teach them to carry out everything I have commanded you and know that I am with you always until the end of the world. We've already had conversations for the days that you skipped to about the middle on page six. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Peter and Paul, pray for us. All you saints of God, pray for us. Almighty and ever living God, you sent your only Son into the world, cast out the power of Satan and the spirit of evil, to rescue man from the kingdom of darkness, and bring him into the splendor of your kingdom of light. We pray for this child, set, her, set him free from eternal virginal sin, and make her a temple of your glory, and send your Holy Spirit to dwell with her, with him. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Anoint you with that royal salvation and goodness in the name of Christ our Savior. May he strengthen you with his power who lives and reigns forever and ever. Mm -hmm. My dear brothers and sisters, we now ask God to give this child new life and abundance through water and the Holy Spirit. Father, you give us grace to sacramental signs which tell of the wonders of your unseen power. 
In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you made a rich symbol of the grace you give us in the sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them the wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism that make an end of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of the Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, Go out and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, look now with love upon your church, and unseal for her the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Spirit, give to the water of this font the grace of your Son. You create man in your own image, likeness, cleanse him from sin, in a new birth, of innocence, by water and the Spirit. We ask you, with the Father, that your Son, to send the Holy Spirit upon the water of this font. May all who are buried with Christ in the death of baptism rise also with him to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear parents and godparents, you have come here to present this child for baptism. By water and the Holy Spirit, he is to receive the gift of new life from God who is love. On your part, you must make it your constant care to bring him up in the practices of the faith. See that the divine life which God gives him is kept safe from the poison of sin to grow always stronger in his heart. If your faith makes you ready to accept this responsibility, renew now the vows of your own baptism. Reject sin. Profess your faith in Christ Jesus. This is the faith of the church. This is the faith in which this child is about to be baptized. So I ask you, do you reject Satan? I do. And all of his works? I do. And all of his empty promises? I do. I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud of the blessing of Christ Jesus, our Lord. Is it your will that Adam Christopher should be baptized in the faith of the church, which you've all professed with you? It is. This is the fountain of life, water made holy by the suffering of Christ, washing all the world. You who are washed in this water have hope of heaven's kingdom. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the oil of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live always as a member of his body. Adam Christopher, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. See in this garment the outward sign of your Christian dignity. With your family and friends to help you by word and example, bring that dignity unstained into the everlasting life of heaven. <laughs> Parents and godparents, this light is entrusted to you to be kept burning brightly. This child of yours has been enlightened, enlightened by Christ. He used to walk always as a child of the light. 
when they speak, may he keep the flame of faith alive in his heart. When the Lord comes, may he go out to welcome him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. The Lord Jesus made the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. May he soon touch your ears to receive his word and your mouth to proclaim his faith to the praise and glory of God the Father. You have been unput on Christ, in him you have been baptized. Alleluia, alleluia. Dearly beloved, this child has been reborn in baptism. He is now called a child of God, for so indeed he is. In confirmation, he will receive the fullness of God's Spirit. In Holy Communion, he will share the banquet of Christ's sacrifice, calling God his Father in the midst of the church. In the name of this child and in the spirit of our common sonship and daughtership, let us pray together in the words our Lord has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. God the Father, through his son, the Virgin Mary's child, has brought joy to all Christian mothers as they see the hope of eternal life shine on their children. May he bless the mother of this child. She now thanks God for the gift of her child. May she be one with him in thanking him forever in heaven, in Christ Jesus our Lord. God is the giver of all life, human and divine. May he bless the father of the child. He and his wife will be the first teachers of their child in the ways of faith. May they be also the best of teachers, bearing witness to the faith by what they say and do in Christ Jesus our Lord. By God's gift through water and the Holy Spirit, we are reborn to everlasting life. In his goodness, may he continue to pour out his blessings upon these sons and daughters of his. May he make them always, wherever they may be, faithful members of his holy people. May he send his peace to all who are gathered here in Jesus Christ our Lord. And the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Congratulations. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy.
As soon as you find your basket, you can use it. Come on. I did have a basket. I mean your big basket. Get your basket. Get that one. Okay. Come on. Okay. Bring Adam. Adam, come here and see. Here, look what he left you. Okay, girls. We'll stay out of their way. Adam, put them in your bag. 